Hello everyone and welcome to this another episode of 2D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kasanas. In the last episode, we built ourselves our initial GUI, and it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. We've got ourselves a little heart in the corner, and we've got ourselves a health bar. Let's take a look at it really quick right now. Boop. Now, so far, so good. Now, we've got one problem, though. We can see our health going down. It's up here in the upper left-hand corner, and I put it up there so that it wasn't extremely, it wasn't blocking anything. All right, it's not blocking anything in any way. Uh, it, it's it's kind of staying out of out of the player's way. It's not blocking any of the information. But the player has to look way up here in the corner to be able to see that it's been, he's been damaged. Maybe he doesn't even see that. Maybe he has no idea. Like, oh, what, wonder what wonder what I'm at right now. And when he looks, oh my God, I'm almost dead. One or two more hits and I'm dead. A couple more hits and I'm dead. <laughs> Actually, it takes twenty. <laughs> But anyway, suddenly, suddenly, bam, he's dead. And he's like, what happened? Oh, I just see that now. So what we're going to do in today's episode is we're going to add a better indicator, another, another UI indicator uh, each time that the player is dead. In a future episode, we'll actually add an audio, uh, an audio indicator as well. But for now, we're going to add a, another visual component that's going to let the character know that he has been damaged. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so in the last episode, we added ourselves this player HUD canvas right here. And we're going to add a few more components, or one more component anyway, to the player HUD canvas. And then everything else is going to be based on code. This is actually going to be a pretty short episode, guys. Uh, but it's going to be something that's going to add a lot to the game. All right, so what I want to do is I want to add a new image to my uh, player health UI. I'm going to say create. I'm going to say UI, and I'm going to go across and find image once again. Boop, there it is. I'm going to drag this image, and I'm going to drop it on player health UI. So let's focus on this again. Focus on everything all the way back here. So we can see that currently our, uh, well, actually, you know what? I don't even want it under player health UI. I want it under canvas. Excuse me. All right, I want it right there under the canvas. Um, so you can see that currently um, we have the image right here in the very corner. I'm going to change it right now. Uh, I'm going to change the image to a damage image. I've got it right down here, this bloody screen. All right. Uh, and currently it's too small. This does not in any way indicate to our, we don't want to have something flashing down here in, in, the, in the corner at all or anywhere else, not in the middle of the screen or anything. What we actually want is for this thing to be across the entire screen. I want it to fill our screen, all right? And I'm gonna change the name of this right now to damage image. All right, so uh, once again, we want to we want to keep the, the anchor points right there in the middle. That's perfect. But what I want to do, if I click down here and I hold my Shift and my Alt, um, you can see that the option down here, first of all, this option says, you know, make it fill the entire whatever it's in. Holding Shift and holding Alt says, make it fill the entire screen. So I want you to push that button. Now, boom, we got ourselves a bloody image across the entire thing. That's really great. That's kind of what I want right there. All right, perfect. Now, with that in place, we don't want it showing all the time. What we're going to do is we're going to flash this on the screen each time the player is damaged. We're going to flash it on the screen and have it fade off so the player understands, oh, I've been damaged. All right, that is our big plan. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go over and write the code. Okay, the code itself is also really easy. Oh, oh one second, one second. One more thing I forgot to do. Uh, we're going to turn off our alpha. So in order to turn off the alpha, just click on the color source of your image itself and turn the alpha all the way down to zero. All right. It's going to disappear. So uh, if you're not sure if you did it right, <laughs> it should disappear. Uh, if it doesn't disappear, then you probably didn't do it right. All right. So we turned our alpha down to zero. We don't want it on the screen the whole time, right? We only want it to flash when the player actually gets hurt. Okay, so now let's take care let's take care of our code. We've already got some of the code in place. Boop. Uh, our player health. We've already got some of the code in pla place for our player health. Uh, what we want to do now is actually activate um, the that screen, that that image uh, through our health code. All right? So, first thing, public uh, image. This time it's going to be an image because uh, that's what we added, a public image, and we're going to call this uh, damage screen. Let's just call it damage screen for now. Uh, damage screen. All right. So the public, the damage screen. And then that's going to be basically the image we just created. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to we want to make sure that we know when we're damaged and how long we're damaged for. All right. Because we really want to flash this once. And we know 
that we get damaged. Uh, we know we get damaged here in add damage. We know that we've been damaged. Uh, but we have to tell, basically what we're going to do is we're going to use a function called a lerp. And we've already used the lerp once uh, to slowly to slow down our camera. This time we're going to use a concept called the color lerp. And the color lerp will change from one color to the other over a specific amount of time. You have to use, or you should use anyway, the lerp in this update or in a fixed update or somewhere where you're getting this constant uh, change. And that's going to allow it to change over time very, very frequently using your time.delta time like we did before. All right. So we want to have things occur in this update. But in order to do so, we're going to need to, to tell the update that we flashed our thing and to slowly change our image color. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a private. Uh, where am I going to put this under? I'm going to put this under the, that's fine right here, a private bool uh, that I'm going to call damaged. All right. So, and I'm going to set it equal to false to start with uh, because our character starts off not damaged. You could have done that here in the start as well. I could have come down here and say damaged uh, equals false, and that's fine. Uh, you can do it either way. This is kind of overkill. You don't need to do both. Pick one. Uh, anyway, I've got this in here, so my damage starts off as false. Our character is not damaged to begin with, so the screen is not going to be on. Now, each time that the character that the character is damaged, I want it to flash. So, down in here, inside of our add damage, what I want to do is I want to set where will I do it? Uh, current health. You know what? I'm going to do it right underneath this current health slider. I want to set damaged equal to true. So basically, I've flopped it over and I've now said damaged is equal to true. Now, up here in our update, we're going to add some code. All right. What we're going to say is um, if damaged, if damaged, that's all you got to say. If damaged, so that means if damaged is true, we want something to happen. And what do we want to happen? We want the screen to flash. Now, we have to tell it how much to flash. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple more variables right in here. We're going to add some color variables, all right? So it's going to be, again, it's going to be a, a simple, uh, a simple uh, private variable, color. And we're going to create a new color here. So color, we're going to call it um, flash or, or damage, damaged color, let's call it. Damaged color uh, is going to be equal to uh, it's going to be equal a new color, and that new color is going to be zero for the red, zero f. It's going to be zero f for the green. It's going to be zero f for the blue, and it's going to be we're going to choose some value here. Um, if I had this, if I had our our flash indicator turned all the way up, so the alpha of one. Uh, I could put a one here, uh, or I could put some some something in between. So for now, we don't want it to fill the screen and really be distracting. So let's try it at uh, decimal five. Decimal five. So the alpha of our new color is going to be decimal five. Okay. So half the alpha, not uh, not uh, not the full alpha. All right. We can change that. You guys can decide on what that's going to be if you want to later on. You can make it full or partial. It's up to you. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to have like our last lerp where we had a smoothing, um, we are going to have uh, the, the, the cool off speed or whatever you want to call it. All right. So it's going to have this smoothing effect. We can call it smoothing here if you want. Smooth color we'll call it. All right. So float uh, smooth color. I'll call it. It doesn't really matter what. Uh, and we'll give it some value. Um, we'll use the same value we used for our camera before, which was 5, a float value of 5. Okay, so, so far, so good. Color is this, and our smooth color is that. Now, down here, back at our update, if we're damaged, what we want to do is we want to change our, what do we call it, uh, our damaged screen, or sorry, our, we want to change our damaged uh, screen color, not just our damaged screen, our damaged, uh, damaged screen dot color, Boom. We want to change it to this damaged color. All right. So that's going to be equal to damaged color. Perfect. What this does, what this does is it says change whatever the screen currently is immediately into this one here. So no changes in the color itself, but change the alpha so it's a little brighter. Great. Now, uh, the next thing we want to do if we're not damaged, we want to move. So else we want to move back to um, our last color. 
all right, into our zero alpha color. So with an else in place, uh, I'm going to add another line here that says our damage indicator color, or sorry, our damage screen, damage screen dot color dot color uh, is going to be equal to a color lerp, like I said. So color dot lerp, beautiful. And like I said, that moves from one color to another. Bam. The first one is color A moving to color B and over what smoothing period. So we're going to move from our from the current damage color, which is damaged screen dot color. We're going to move from what it currently is to to zero. We want our alpha to be zero again. And that has a shortcut color dot clear. And dollar color dot clear is basically zero 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 zero. All right, color dot clear, and we want to move over our what did I call it? What did I call it? Uh, what did I call it? Oh, smooth color, smooth color times once again time dot delta time. All right, and that is going to move us slowly or or quickly, I should say, smoothly um, from our damage color all the way across to uh, to zero again. The last thing we want to do is, and I know I'm doing this each frame, and I'm doing this each frame too, uh, but we want to set our damaged value, damage value back to false. All right. Uh, so it goes through once. Basically, what this is saying is, we've been damaged. Add damage. We say damage is equal to true. It comes into the update. Says, whoa, damage is true. Set the screen color. Damage is false. So when it comes back through again, it won't set it again. All right. And that's all we should really need to do. So I'm going to say file. I'm going to say save. I'm going to put this down. Let's go boop. And let's see what happens now when I jump on top. Bam. Oh, nothing. I know why. <laughs> Forgot to do one thing. Go back to your character. Find in here your damaged screen and make sure you drag and drop your damaged image right there. Then say play and jump on top. Bam. Bam. Look at that. Now we're taking damage. Everyone knows it. We can actually see the screen. Oh, we know we're getting hurt now. That's exactly what we want to do. All right, everybody, I'm going to end this episode right there. A nice short one, uh, but a good one. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. Comments are always welcome. I love to get them. All right, guys, thumbs up. Thumbs down, comments down below, and if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.